Sister Ella here, Salesian sister. You know, the month of September has quite a number of feasts of our Blessed Lady, and they're not terribly well known. The 8th of September is marked as the birthday of Our Lady. Uh, the 12th of September is um, the day when we honour the name of Mary. And the 24th of, this, of September is the feast of Our Lady of Walsingham. Walsingham is a very small village in a place that's quite difficult to get to, um, but it is the National Marian Shrine in England. And it's well worth a visit if you can ever get there. Even Henry VIII went there on pilgrimage a long time ago. But um, just let's think of that birthday of Mary celebrated on the 8th of September. Well, the, the calendars have changed more than once since uh, Our Lady was alive on this earth. So we're certainly not sure of the date. Um, but if you think back nine months before uh, the 8th of September, we have the 8th of December. And what, ha what, what do we celebrate on the 8th of December? The Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. And some people get mixed up. They think this Immaculate Conception is the conception of Jesus. No, it's the Immaculate Conception of Mary because the Church teaches that our Blessed Lady was born without the stain of original sin, which the rest of us have inherited from our first parents, who sinned and lost that initial um, grace that the Lord God had bestowed on them. They sinned against God, they disobeyed his order. And the rest of humanity, all those coming after them, they're bereft of that, with the exception of our Blessed Lady. Why? Because she had been chosen from all eternity to bear God when he became a human being. So it would not have been in any way fitting for her ever to have been stained by sin. That's the Immaculate Conception. It's Mary's Immaculate Conception, and then nine months later, we celebrate the birthday of Mary. And then on the 12th, we celebrate the lovely name of Mary, which unfortunately, you don't hear it very much now being given to children, to newly baptized children, which is a great pity. And, and then the 24th of September, the Feast of Our Lady of Walsingham. The Feast of Our Lady of Ransom is another name for it. So remember September as a Marian month. You've still got time. In fact, you've got time to make a novena, nine days of prayer before the Feast of Our Lady of Walsingham. And Pope Leo XIII said, when our, when people come back to Walsingham, Mary will come back to England. <laughs>